Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to change a Brita filter indicator on a Brita pitcher. This will be an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. This is the lid of my six cup Brita pitcher that you can see right here. So this is the lid from this pitcher right here. Now, on most of the modern Brita pitchers, there's gonna be this filter life indicator. And sometimes, because there's a battery in it, sometimes the battery goes out. And then you won't know when to change your filter. I mean, you'll have a general idea, but you won't have the reminder, okay? Now, you can go ahead and you can replace these. They're actually relatively easy to replace. All that you need is a flathead screwdriver. Now, I prefer one with a small flathead tip it's just easier to work with um, now your Brita filter life indicator might have a bigger notch around it so it might be easier to pry out but this is one of the harder ones that I've seen it just has a tiniest notch here now here's the thing if you just try and pry it out from one end you might break it or damage it and that's because there are these slots that are likely going to be on the sides they might be somewhere else on your Brita filter indicator or your Brita pitcher um, but you know they're, they're likely going to be on the sides so what you got to do is you Use your flathead screwdriver to pry it out a little bit. So you just want to get it out. Oops, you're just sorry about that. I'm trying to do this while looking through the camera lens. I need to just look down at the, at the actual item. So you want to pry it out a little bit, okay? Then what you want to do is go to the side and it'll only take a gentle pry from the side. If I kept prying from up here, it might snap off or damage it, okay? You can see I already maybe caused the tiniest bit of damage when I tried to do it, just over here. So instead you gotta go from the sides and it should just pop out so easily, just like that. The reason is because, you see those slots right there? You see, let me just try and give you a better, better view. You see the slots right over there, okay? And these little notches on the side there, those, are what keep it in place. So you wanna slide those up. If I pry from one end, I'm gonna be trying to break those notches and that's what makes it very difficult to get out. So because of those notches on the side, you have to just pry it a little bit from the edge and then the rest from the side. That's it, you can, and you could just pop a new one in. So you just, you get your new one, whichever new one you're gonna get and you just push it in place. Make sure it's lined up nice and straight. Push it down, you're good to go, that's it. It's literally that simple. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Sorry, before I finish, uh, let, me just, let me just make this clear. Uh, I didn't actually need to replace this because this is relatively new. So in this video tutorial, I wanted to show you how to replace it. Even though I put the same one back in, you know, obviously you're gonna be removing your old one and replacing it with the new one. I figured I didn't have to say that, but you know what, now that I think about it, I figured I would say it anyways because maybe some people are thinking, why did this guy just remove it and put the same one back in that's because this is already basically new if you're replacing your old one you're gonna remove the old one and put the new one in place using the same process of removal and installation that I showed you that's it if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all I have for you today thanks for watching